You want something fast, easy, and delicious? Let's go. First things first. All right, so I didn't realize until later that I am making a red based tomato sauce while wearing a white shirt. Let's see what happens. Now there's not a whole lot of prep beforehand, so let's start with half of a small yellow onion and finally chop it up. Then grab one or two garlic cloves and you can finally slice or chop up. I'm gonna finally slice it. For the spinach, you can use frozen, but I like to use fresh when possible. I have 140 grams and I'm just going to finely chop it up. For the cod, I have 400 grams of frozen cod loins. I wanted to use fresh, uh, but I just couldn't get it. So frozen it is, and there is nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to pat dry the loins and then season both sides with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Now in a pan on medium to high heat, add four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and add the onions and cook until softened. Now, if you're new here, uh, you'll notice I use bomba sauce a lot. And if you don't know what it is, I'll leave a recipe link in the description below that explains all about it. This stuff is everything. Now, a substitute, albeit not equivalent, would be like a chili paste. And then we're gonna add the garlic and saute until fragrant and softened. Then add the spinach in and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper and cook until wilted and try to release as much moisture as you can from the spinach, stirring frequently. Then add the passata, which is just strained tomatoes. And I don't have homemade right now. I gotta go pick up some more. And if I don't have homemade, this is not sponsored, but this is the brand that I use for passata, Muti. And then don't forget to fill up that empty bottle with some water about halfway up, give a shake and add that as well. Get every last drop of your passata. Toss in some fresh torn basil to taste, uh, give a mix and let simmer for about five to 10 minutes. If you have some time, let the sauce simmer for about 30, 45 minutes, give a taste and adjust any seasonings. Grab the cod and nestle the loins into the sauce and poach until cooked about seven to eight minutes, flipping halfway through. And you can start the pasta while the cod cooks. Salt a large pot of boiling water and add your pasta. Cook a couple minutes before al dente as you will finish cooking the pasta in the sauce. By the time the pasta is done, the cod will be done as well. You can use a fork or a wooden spoon and break up the cod into chunks and flake it all up. Then add a ladle of pasta water to the sauce along with the pasta and now it's time for la mata cottura, mixing and tossing, marrying the pasta to the sauce. Adding more pasta water if needed. Once done, you'll be left with a rich and luxurious sauce full of amazing flavor. Plate it up, add a couple spoonfuls of sauce and bring it to the table. This is a nice, simple dish. Love the chunks of cod, they flake away nicely. Uh, the spinach, of course, the bomba, gotta love the bomba sauce, and a nice, rich tomato sauce that I'm wearing a white shirt. Surprised I didn't get anything on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I did. Uh, could have been worse though. Anyways, hope you give this recipe a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.